Urgent Real Time Bitcoin Forecast. It has been hectic as hell, but we finally have clear direction now as to which way we're going. We're going to go up or down really, really big once again. And um, I can tell you in this episode which direction it's going to go. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to show you. Uh, all that up and down action, all that ridiculous uh, price action, we made every single long, we made every single short, and our clients doubled, tripled their money this week. Uh, so if you have over $10,000, you should probably just get us to trade it for you. Uh, who else can double your money in a week? Anyway, there's uh, other videos documenting that. and uh, Just so subscribe to this channel and then look for the video right before this one. Okay, so I'm going to show you why we're going to go, which direction we're going to go right now. Okay, so it is this, these charts. Uh, I guess we'll start with this one. Um, total crypto market cap hit 1.18, just about hit, hit 1.18 trillion dollars. Um, and then really didn't do much. It just kind of ranged here, uh, had a broadening wedge here, and then now it's a narrowing wedge. Broadening wedge to a narrowing wedge, mm, does that tell us anything? Well, it kind of actually looks like broadening wedge to a narrowing, uh -huh, kind of looks like a reversal diamond. Unconfirmed right now, uh, because we don't have, we have multiple touches at the top, but we don't have multiple touches at the top here. So are we gonna get multiple touches at the top? Is this really a reversal diamond at the top of all the crypto? Well, let's take a look at uh, Ethereum. Uh, see if that gives us a little bit more of a hint. Ethereum, oh, geez, my hand is covering it up. Ethereum looks like, I'm gonna have to stand up and show you guys. Ethereum looks like we had a rounded bottom and then possibly a bull flag uh, set up. So it, it doesn't look that bearish. Ethereum looks like it could be bullish. We haven't had the full 618 retrace yet, which, which means that we should go right back up to the top, uh, close to the top at least. We haven't had that, but normally what ha ends up happening is when we don't have a 618 retrace, that means that there's selling pressure at the top. Or we just haven't had the 618 retrace yet. So we haven't gone back up to the uh, logical 62% fib line, uh, golden ratio of uh, the top to bottom here. So we haven't hit the golden ratio yet. Like I said, that either means we're going to, we're still going to pump up, or we're just getting dumped on by whales without us knowing it. But if you look at the big picture, if you look at the big picture, we had, we had a new top here, and then we had several attempts, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, and then we had a final breaker. Now we're just not even getting close to these highs. So it's, it, it's, and we've had this much time. Look at almost how much time we've had to get back. And look at how many, uh, how much time we had here. It, it's been super, super quick iterations to try and get back to this level. And we had all this time, and we barely, we didn't even break uh, the recent tops. So that's not looking really that great. But now uh, let's look at Bitcoin. It's a lot more clear, isn't it? Bitcoin looks a lot more like a reversal diamond, doesn't it? Hmm. Uh, where's my chair? Here it is. Bitcoin looks a lot more reversally. Uh, and um, what do we have here? What do we have here? You see what I'm seeing here? Uh, let me draw a trend line for you. No bueno, kids. Perfectly enclosed three triangles, but this, this tiny triangle isn't big enough of a shoulder to where it's, it's not gonna have a lot of downforce. So that's why we didn't dump here. Uh, and then, but this one, the next one after that, this one is big enough. It's bigger and it's uh, taken longer. So it's safe to say that whales have been dumping uh, right in this range. Well, so what price range would that be? That would be right here, uh, $28,000, $29,000. Whales are not letting this thing get to $30,000. Uh, it would be nice um, to let it get to thirty thousand dollars, and then have all the whole the whole media and everybody say, "Hey, Bitcoin hit thirty thousand dollars," but whales just aren't letting that happen. Um, oh, and the last thing is this. Look, this is the S and P five hundred, uh, and look what's happening. We have a rising wedge with a rejection at the top. Rising wedge with a rejection at the top generally means we're gonna dump. If we dump here, then we're gonna dump here, and we're gonna dump here, especially since we're gonna dump here first. But um, fundamentally speaking, here, let me explain this. 
All right, so if I'm going to talk fundamentals here, the whole Bitcoin pump up was due to the fact that um, banks were insolvent. Banks, there, were, there was a bank run and there had to be a, a place for the money to go. All right, so people were withdrawing money from banks to put uh, into Bitcoin and the smart people knew that. So they bought the bottom of Bitcoin. But what's happening today? Have you seen FRC? Have you seen Silicon Valley Bank? Have you seen uh, some of these other regional bank stocks? They're jumping 30, 40, 50 percent because bigger banks are taking them over and it looks like the banks are stabilizing. If banks stabilize, then the money that ran away from banks into Bitcoin that pumped Bitcoin because banks were unstable, where do you think it's going to happen? The reverse is going to happen. So um, this would be a good time to dump everything. Especially since the, uh, uh, the big, oh, you can't even see that, can you? Um, especially since the big picture uh, is this. Let me see if I can show you this. This is the big picture. Look at that. Uh, we've got a really big wedge here. We've got a huge wedge. Uh, and we're just not, these things need clear breakouts. These, if there's a lot of consolidation, it goes the other way. A lot of consolidation went the other way. A lot of consolidation went the other way. A lot of consolidation, it's um, likely going to go the other way. Consolidation is not very frequently good. Look, lots of consolidation here went the other way, went up. So, mm, 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 mm. what I would do, I'll tell you what I would do. What I recommend that you do is sell everything in short until I tell you, hey, uh, things changed uh, or the TA has been invalidated, something fundamentally different has happened. We're going to go up again. When I tell you that, then you can buy again. But for now, everything's a sell. Now, uh, if you're smart, you're going to say, well, if I sell, I'm not going to make any money on the dump. So shouldn't I short? Yes, you should short. But when? How much? Uh, is there going to be a uh, is there going to be a fake out pump, and then uh, that's going to destroy all the shorts? So when should I short? How much should I short by? That is only answered at Bitcoin-Signals.org, Bitcoin-Signals.org, where you get precise trades from the future, and that's how we were able to double everyone's money uh, last week, and the week before, and the week before that. Um, so join. Bitcoin-signals.org to get the exact trade when to short. Otherwise, what you can do is you could do a, a, a wimpy 2x short right now and you'd be safe. Just do a 2x short on Bitcoin and you'd be safe. But you'd also not make much money. Uh, we're planning on doing a 30 to 40x short to make massive amounts of money, uh, which means we have to be within 2% of the top. If we're within 2% of the top, we can make a shit ton of money. Uh, you want to make a shit ton of money with us? Uh, I recommend you join us in our VIP room, bitcoin-signals.org, so you can get rich with us.